Hello Pisces and welcome to your reading by the Blessings Foundry. Today's reading is going to be a weekly energy check-in to look at the current situation, the current feelings, what might be hidden. We'll take a look into love and emotions, career and finances, get a general message, look at the overall possibility or outcome based on the current energy, and then pull a card of guidance and advice. So we have the Nine of Pentacles coming out. This is confidence, very abundant, being in a comfortable environment, being self-assured, secure, stable. We'll see if it comes out in your reading. Spirit, please come here. Please connect to the Pisces subscribers of this channel and their guides, guardians, angels, ancestors, and higher selves in high vibrational energy to get the messages and guidance that Pisces needs at the time they view this video. Let's see what we get for you today, Pisces. So what is going on in your current situation? The Seven of Cups, something is up in the air. There could be a lot of options. There could also be a sense of being fragmented, like you really are needing to become grounded. We'll see what's going on with this in a moment. I'm feeling more that this is calling to you to look at your different options in a scenario, look at the possibilities. In your current feelings, we have the Four of Wands, celebrating on the right path, Twin Flame energy, 1111. This is very foundational energy, Fours, foundational energy, Wands, passion and energy. So really having a sense of, I'm, I'm hearing the word levity. So having a sense of celebration, a spirit of levity, um, feeling overall fairly optimistic about things. What is currently hidden? The Four of Cups. So something you're not seeing. The Four of Cups literally also means something you may not be seeing. So there could be a new beginning Ace of Cups coming in or something that you're not seeing that's being offered to you or something that has not yet been presented but is coming. We'll see more about that in a moment as well. So now in Love and Emotions, we have the Emperor. The Emperor is Aries energy. It's also somebody who's in control of their emotions. They're, they sit in a seat of power. This is leadership. This is authority. This is also a person who might be behaviorally or characteristically older than you as well. We'll see what's going on with that in a moment. I'm, I'm feeling very much in control of your emotions at this time. In career and finances, we have the Ace of Cups. So just as we were seeing what might be hidden, an Ace of Cups coming in. In career and finances, we have the Ace of Cups coming in. So you could have a new opportunity, a new offer, an answered prayer, a blessing, something coming in to give you a new emotional beginning, to wash away, to cleanse, to have a renewal in career and finances. I just heard somebody sigh a sigh of relief for that, kind of like, thank God. Um, for the general message, we have the Ten of Pentacles, security, stability, grounded energy. Ten is the fulfillment of the suit, pentacles being materialism. It can be things you touch, taste, and feel. So the general message here is regarding your security, your stability, perhaps even commitment. What you might be committed to. Overall possibility, we have the sun. This is the happiest card in the deck. The sun is shining upon you. This is a very favorable time for you. You could have, you could be experiencing a new sense of invigoration or a new sense of joy, or I'm, I'm actually hearing the word pleasure, but not pleasure in a hedonistic way, just more of a happiness, like a sense of pleasure that comes from being happy, a youthfulness, a vitality. The sun is also good health good things in the sun for the overall possibility and in your advice and guidance we have the ace of wands opportunity for growth opportunity for expansion the ace of wands is the beginning of something new a creative adventure a new job a new opportunity for your overall guidance and advice and i'm hearing since the ace of wands is in your overall guidance and advice this is about your growth your expansion, taking a new beginning, going in the direction of something that will lead you to growth and expansion. 
and I see the growth, we see the growth on the wand, growth coming from a passion or a new beginning here. So now let's dive in to get some clarification for these areas. And again, just a gentle reminder, this is a general message. So we're going to lightly touch upon each of the different areas to give you a, a general bearing point about the direction of the energy this week. What is the Seven of Cups for the Pisces current situation? Okay. And we have the Seven of Cups, Pisces. So the Seven of Cups is your options. It's looking at what it is you truly want. And we have the Two of Cups. Now, twos are unions, decisions, and choices. Cups are emotions. But here, we're choosing two. So there's an opportunity for you to choose two things, to choose two options. I'm going to clarify this two of cups just to get more information on what is going on. So perhaps we can see the directionality of those choices. Spirit, what is this two of cups for Pisces? What is this two of cups for Pisces, please? What is this two of cups for Pisces? Show us clearly. And for the Two of Cups, we have the Three of Swords. So this is, I'm hearing balancing your emotions and choosing new options from a point of perspective. The Three of Swords is an energy that's happened in the past. It's already done. You've already felt the heartache, the loss, the pain, the swords through your heart, the, the trauma from that, the pain. Um, so here you're looking at options outside of the pain and the pain of the past is guiding you towards what new options to choose. So we're seeing you're, I feel like you're leaving behind a pain from the past and looking towards new options that are going to give you some, a sense of relief or release. Now I am hearing for some of you, this could be relational pain that you could have had, <clears throat> pardon me, please. You could have had. Um, three of Swords, pain, trauma, loss, heartache from a relationship. It doesn't have to be romantic. And now you're exploring your options. Some of you are online dating. Some of you are looking at what it is you may actually truly want. So this is the, I'm getting a couple things off of the current situation. So please do take it as it applies to you. What is this Four of Wands for Pisces current feelings? What is this Four of Wands for Pisces current feelings, please? What is this Four of Wands for Pisces current feelings, please, Spirit? And for the Four of Wands, we're getting the Queen of Cups. Pisces, this is about you coming, really focusing on what you want to bring to fruition, really focusing on the path ahead focusing on your foundation and what you want to celebrate. Let's pull one card for this Queen of Cups. What is this Queen of Cups? Also feminine energy. What is this Queen of Cups for Pisces? But this is in your feelings. So the Queen of Cups is somebody is or represents somebody who's very much in touch with their feelings and feels things very deeply, is in tune with their feelings, very empathic, very intuitive. And we see the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is very grounded, very pragmatic, very stable feelings as well. So it seems as though during this week, you'll be very grounded and stable and knowing how you're feeling, having clarity on your feelings and being in a sea of foundational energy, a sea of groundedness with regard to your feelings. For, what is this Four of Cups for what is currently hidden? What is this Four of Cups for what is currently hidden, please, Spirit? And for the Four of Cups, we are getting the Page of Pentacles. This is an offer. And I say this is an offer because the Page of Pentacles can be a message regarding an offer or an actual offer. And then with the Four of Cups, we see an offer coming out of the the cloud. So we're, what we're seeing for what is hidden, and there is some type of offer or opportunity that's coming to you. What is this page of pentacles? What is this page of pentacles, please? 
What is this page of pencils? Thank you. Oh, and it fell on the floor. Hold on one second, guys. Grab this card. And we have the High Priestess. Intuitively, you may have known this is coming or felt the energy of something new entering your 3D world. You, Some of you may have even gotten psychic downloads or... spiritual messages that gave you a heads up that a new opportunity is coming. So that is what is hidden. And it's hidden. The high priestess knows without knowing. So it's information that you know that is not shown to you, but is known through psychic sources or from spiritual information. What is this emperor for Pisces in love and emotions? What is this emperor for Pisces? in love and emotions and we are getting the ace of swords this is clarity this is communication i am hearing there might be one or two of you who is cutting an aries off or cutting somebody off that's older than you you're cutting them off from love and emotions that's only going to be for a couple of you but for others of you this is about your communication about having victory over your emotions let's see what this ace of swords is what is this Ace of Swords for Pisces? Oh. Okay, so we have the Moon card, which is Pisces energy and the Page of Cups. A message may be coming to you with emotional content. The Page of Cups is the early stages of emotions. It's a, an emotional, a message with emotional content. It's, it can also be an apology or forgiveness. But here with the moon, I feel this is about emotions. The moon has a lot of emotions with it. And as the moon waxes and wanes and becomes full and new, the emotional cycles are amplified as well. So I feel there is something new coming, some type of new emotion that is going to bring you clarity. Or, nope, I, I'm incorrect. Hold on. Spirit, please help me have clarity on how to say this. So something that was hidden is going to, a message is going to come and the message is going to give you clarity. It could come from somebody who might be older than you or that's all I'm getting from this. So there's going to be some type of message or uh, the early stages of emotions. A communication or a clarity is going to be revealed by a masculine energy who is rather stoic and may not generally convey their emotions. Okay, that's what I'm getting from that. For career and finances, we have the Ace of Cups. What is this Ace of Cups for Pisces and career and finances, please, Spirit? What is this Ace of Cups for Pisces and career and finances? Show us clearly. Show us clearly what this Ace of Cups is for Pisces and career and finances. What is this Ace of Cups? Thank you. For the Ace of Cups, we have a celebration. So we're seeing, celebrating an offer, an opportunity, celebrating, I'm feeling this could even be a win, celebrating your wins, finding out, looking at what's going on in your career and finances and identifying something that you can say, this is a win on a daily basis, on a weekly basis, on a monthly basis. Let's see what this three of cups is. I'm also seeing that you could have fortuitous or really good connections coming up in work and finance. What is this three of cups for Pisces? There could be a group of three, perhaps three females. And then we have four cards, the queen of cups, the page of pentacles and offer seven of cups again and the death card. So the end of options, because you're choosing one, so celebrating, so what we're seeing here is the Ace of Cups. This is the primary energy. Clarifying that is the Three of Cups, a celebration. What are you celebrating? You're celebrating this Ace of Cups, something new, a new beginning. 
But the underlying root of that is Queen of Cups, your energy, Pisces. Page of Pentacles, an offer for what is hidden. Seven of Cups, your options or opportunities. And Death card, the end of options. Because you've chosen an opportunity or an option. So what this is what this is showing Pisces is that you you are going you've been examining some options for yourself or trying to perhaps even manifest an opportunity for yourself. But either way, in career and finances, something is coming that is that will be selected. You're going to choose one. Now up here we saw the current situation this two of cups could be narrowing it down to two options whereas in career and finances you're narrowing it down to one and you're eliminating the other options because you're definitely decided to go with one option which is the ace of cups what is this ten of pentacles for pisces general message what is this ten of pentacles for pisces general message please and we have two cards here three cards the first one is the knight of pentacles the knight of pentacles came out in current feelings this is your general message feeling very grounded very pragmatic we do have a sense of lack a sense of loss within an organization so i'm seeing changes within an organization or a situation or even your belief systems could be taking quite a while to transpire to occur and you could have concerns about lack or suffering being out in the cold rejected or having abandonment some type of loss has been on your mind and it seems to be having to do with some type of structure the changes are occurring slowly but ultimately we see the ten of pentacles which is showing stability and security. I'm going to clarify this five of pentacles. What is this five of pentacles, please? What is this five of pentacles, please? Thank you. For the five of pentacles, we have the justice. So this is a decision. So a fair, balanced, right decision, something that's weighed out. Let's pull one more card for this five of pentacles. Show us more clearly what this five of pentacles is. What is this five of pentacles for Pisces? And for the five of pentacles, we are getting the seven of swords. This is a strategic plan of action, a decision. You may have been contemplating. And if you have not been contemplating, you may want to start com contemplating a change that would bring you towards something that's more secure, more stable. For those of you in particular who are having a sense of lack regarding your belief structures, a commitment, or an organization. I hope that makes sense because that's what I'm getting. Anything else I need to know about this general message spirit? I'm hearing no. Just to remind you that the Knight of Sword, Knight of Pentacles rather, can be a career change, a financial change, or taking action, action being taken over a long period of time, or because pentacles are the slowest energy in the deck. So a pentacle, one pentacle would be a year, two pentacles, two years, etc. But for the knight of pentacles, I'm, I'm hearing because the knight would be number 12. So I'm feeling within a year, you'll have wanted to take some type of action, made some decisions for yourself to avoid a calamity or be to avoid being in a position of lack for the general message. What is the sun for the overall possibility or outcome for Pisces? What is the sun for the overall possibility or outcome for Pisces, please, Spirit? Spirit, please be more clear. What is the sun for Pisces and the overall possibility and outcome? Let's get one more card. Any, what else do we need to know about the sun, please? Thank you. 
the first card we have here is the Seven of Pentacles. Now, when we think about the sun and we think about plants, plants go, grow because of the energy from the sun through photosynthesis. Something is photosynthesizing in your life. And we have the Queen of Pentacles. One of your plantings, one of your fruits, one of your pentacles is about to be picked and it's going to be a joyous time. Let's clarify the seven of pentacles, something you've waited for for a while. This could also be, this could also be reverse of that is that you had the queen of pentacles, the queen of pentacles planted, you planted a seed. The queen of pentacles is very fertile and it's giving life through energy, through photosynthesis, to many options or multiplying from one to seven multiplication. I mean, spirit just said, yes, that's, that's the right message. What is this set? What is this queen of pentacles? What is this queen of pentacles? Thank you. Four of wands. So we have the four of wands in the current feelings. What is this seven of pentacles, please? And we, yeah, okay, so this is about your abundance. Being on, the, wow, this is, this is super good energy for your overall possibility or outcome for this week. We have the sun. We have the four of wands. 11, 11, you're on the right path. We have the empress, abundance. We have the nine of cups, your wish fulfillment. We have a multiplication of one to seven. So we are seeing a sevenfold blessing from something you have, put energy into. So that'll be different for each of you. I'm going to pull one card. I'm going to ask Spirit what, what area or what else we need to know about this overall message for the overall possibility. Spirit, what do we need to know about this overall possibility or outcome for this week? What else do we need to know about this overall message? Show us clearly what we need to know about this. Thank you. Two of Pentacles. So the Two of Pentacles refers to a cycle turning a hobby into a career or or passive turning a hobby into passive income. It's also gambling. It can be small wins. It can also be a decision going back and forth with the pros and cons. It's juggling. But I, I see here you made a decision. The, the root of the overall possibility and energy, which is very positive, it's abundant, it's wish fulfillment, it's a multiplication of seven, and it's very bright energetically, is rooted in a decision you made to choose one way over another. And what is this Ace of Wands? For Pisces in the overall advice and guidance. What is this Ace of Wands for Pisces in the overall guidance and advice? What is this Ace of Wands? Show us clearly what this Ace of Wands is for Pisces for the overall advice and guidance. The first card we have here is the Death card. The second card we have is the Queen of Wands. The third card we have is the Strength card. This is a transformation. This is transformational growth. We see very strong energy, patience, courage, tenacity. The Queen of Wands, a super attractor, very focused on the future. The Queen of Wands is focused on death. Not because death is an ending, but death is an opportunity for rebirth and growth. And that is what we have is Ace of Wands, an opportunity, a new opportunity for rebirth, for growth. And then let's clarify. I'm going to clarify this death card just to double confirm. What is this death card for Pisces? What is this death card for Pisces, please, Spirit? And we have the lover's card. So this is a blessed choice, a blessed union, a blessed path. So I see the archangel in this lover's card covering you, covering the decisions you've made. We see you're making decisions. We see you're going down a path that's right and true for yourself. We see a lot happening this week 
there's a, a lot of very, very positive energy for you this week. All of these cards are positively aspected, even the Five of Pentacles, even the Death card that we have twice. The Death card first comes out in Career and Finances. And then it comes out in advice and guidance. So drawing a parallel between the death card in career and finances and in advice and guidance, we see in career and finances, there's a new opportunity. In advice and guidance, there's a new opportunity as well. So this is a rebirth into a new opportunity for you. And for many of you, it's going to be related to career and finances. Finances and careers is even more supported because we have the Knight of Pentacles twice once in your current feelings, once in your general message. So we see a, a financial or career change or something tangible. At the very least, something tangible is going to either be set into motion this week or make you'll make further progress on it. For some, it'll even come to fruition. One card for the overall energy of this reading for Pisces, please. And here we have it, guys. Recognition and reward and spiritual union. The two of cups is spiritual union, and which is also being shown here, spiritual choices and decisions, and recognition and reward. So the choices that you have been making or will be making are going to be rewarded. Spirit, one oracle for Pisces for this reading out of this deck. One oracle for Pisces out of this deck. Thank you. Dreams, the Cayman and Poppy. If you can dream it, you can become it. If you can dream it, you can realize it. Everything starts with the possibilities. Imagine the possibilities for yourself, Pisces. Spirit, one oracle for Pisces out of this deck for this reading. One oracle, thank you. And here we are getting emotions are the reflection look for the deeper meaning. So this is the message that I have for you today. Overall, it looks like it's an extremely positive week. We see a multiplication over your life. We see great energy, abundance, being on the right path of rebirth, a transformation, communication coming through clarity. We see spiritual information coming to you to help you discern, to help you go in the right direction. And overall, we see recognition and reward, looking in your dreams and looking for a deeper meaning. This is the message I have for you today, Pisces. God bless.